So yeah, here's the hole. And I don't, see, I don't even see where they cut the cable. Oh, here it is. There's where they cut it, look. Right there. So yeah, oh, shit. There's where it comes out and goes into the house. And so yeah, that's what happened today. There's my uh, fiber optic cable for my internet, and that ain't gonna work today, is it? Oh shit. And AT&T came and fixed our cable the next day. And luckily we had extra line over there. You can see where we pulled it up. So now we've got enough to get to that junction box right there. So we're gonna put it through some conduit here. So hopefully when these goofballs come back, they won't cut through it again. And we gotta go in that box there. So that's what it looks like so far. Pretty All right. So you gotta unhook that Velcro thing. Yeah, this is just to keep everything kind of organized per se. And the white line is... That goes into the modem. That's going into the modem, yeah. Yeah, it's going into the... There's probably a jack on the wall somewhere in there. Yeah, it's right on the other side of this wall. I guess I got to reset it once you reconnect it. Yeah, we'll check all that before I leave. So that's the cable right there, right? That's the fiber, yeah, coming yeah. from outside. And he wrote a bunch of numbers on there. I don't know what... Yeah, that's just the assignments. And that was the light level coming to the house. What does that mean? That's your light level, that's your signal. What 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 kind of uh, light level do you need? I mean, anything below negative 24 is good. Oh, okay, so it's gotta be a negative number. Yeah. It, uh, anything below it. So right. the 18 is, that's okay. Yeah. When you're negative, it's the further from zero is the better, you know? But like, actually, I, I take that back, it's the closer to zero, so, you know, you could have negative 14, negative 25, that's when you're gonna start having light issues. Ah. So at 18, does that mean that we're kind of close to? No. Nah, now we're good? 18's average. That's the average light level that we see. And Only this is? 18 to 20. So this is the actual cable itself, right? This is the fiber, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll show you. Look how small it is. I'll show you the actual fiber. Oh, yeah. wow, look at that. That's it. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's crazy technology. Yeah, that's where your signal comes through. <laughs> oh, there's the old one. Yeah, that one's gone. That one's a history. Oh, throw that over there. Right now we gotta fish that thing through. Luckily, we have just enough room down there. I think that's the old uh, cable from uh, Cos uh, This is Comcast. Yeah, Comcast. Just gotta get her up there. Are you saving any uh, slack for the next yeah. time they ruin it? <laughs> There's not enough slack to rerun it. Oh I'm shit, this is this will be our one shot. Yeah, I'm gonna keep slack in here. Now the question is, will it come through that hole? <laughs> There's a bunch of, what is that? That's like, to plug it up? Yeah, silicone, keep the bugs out. Ah, keep the bugs out, good idea. Yeah, the last thing you want is a, a lizard in there. They still get in there. I had one in my fuse box, man. Over on the other side, he the AC. Fried. Oh, he was he was jerky. Yeah. It'd been turned into beef jerky. Wow. All right, that looks good, huh? Now this is the interesting part because you've got to pull that little white fiber out, right? This stays. Oh, that that. You just got to reloop it. So that's gonna go. Like you do, how many of these things do you, like, this is like you close your eyes and do this. Pretty much. It just, it, it depends how everything was run previous. I prefer doing installs. Yeah, so you know it's done right. Yeah, on repairs, you gotta kinda go off of whoever was there last. 
And if they don't know what they're doing, you're hosed. Do you know everybody that does this at nah. your thing? There's three different yards that come out here. Oh, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm at King's Point. Oh, that must be fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We don't get much in there, though, because it's all uh, Comcast in there. Yeah, they got uh, a lock on it. Yeah, once in a while we'll go in there. We'll have customers that move in there and they hate Comcast. So they want us instead, you know. Yeah. Comcast is definitely... I had Comcast and they're like the worst. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have Comcast at my house. Oh, yeah. You, some places you have to have it. I have yeah. to have it at the condo because yeah. they don't have this over there yet. Yeah, I can't get AT&T around it. I mean, I want the, you know, the fiber optic you have to have if you're going to be, you know, doing any kind of applications. Right, exactly. Because I do, you know, a lot of video stuff. Oh, okay. And, um, oops. Do it on the top part there. So it doesn't matter which junction hole you push no, it through. This is just a connector so yeah. that the two pieces can sit nose to nose on each other. And then you just kind of wind that up until you, okay, now we're going to get to the meat of it. So you got to separate the, now what's on the other sides of that? It's fiberglass. It's just something to protect it. Yeah. And then you've got to just, oh yeah, that's, there, you got it, damn, that's it. Yeah, separating it down to the, so you've got it, yeah, you cut those off. All right. This is like I'm getting my journeyman's card now. Mm -hmm. You gotta pay me for this. <laughs> this is a class, it's not free. <laughs> All right, so now the interesting thing is getting this fiber optic cable in that little, what do you call it there? I'm just using what was here. Yeah, you, so you've, that saves you some drawing. I don't know, do you really, you, I guess you might as well put them both in, huh? Yeah. All right, looks good. Oh, well, this is, this is the important part. So you gotta get that just perfect, huh? Well, I'm gonna end up cutting it. We'll see in a minute. Because that's glass, right? That's glass, yeah. It's a, it's crazy. It's glass. Mm -hmm. How do they get glass to bend? <laughs> well, you can't do hard bends on it. You can do circles and stuff. Right now, what does that thing do? Cuts it to size. Oh, I see. So you got to cut the fiber itself. Yeah. And you want a super clean cut, right? Just needs to be a straight cut. All right, now that thing there. What, what is that that thing? This is the connector. This is what's going to connect. Now you got to. Gotta, that. Okay, so you got to have good eyesight to get that much, in the hole. Yeah. And you just kind of slide it in. Oh, and then make. Oh, okay. And that thing just popped off. Now we got to check it. So that gives you a register on it? Yeah, it'll tell me if the light is good. So you're at negative 15 now, and they had you at negative 18. So that's better, right? Yeah. So now we're at 15. Oh, yeah. So now we should get 2,000 megabytes. <laughs> I'd be not paying for it. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. What's the most I can get? Um, I don't know if they have 5 gig over here. It depends. If you're on XGS, you can get up to 5 gig. Well, what's that thing do? Cleans it. And now you've got like some, I guess that's a, that's going to check the. Yeah, I got to do a test and clean the ends and stuff. So this is really something that a homeowner's not ever going to do. No. <laughs> you have, I've already seen like three things that I don't even know where you'd buy them. This is something that AI is not going to do either. Yeah, I mean, it can't. How's it going to, unless a robot could do it. 
I don't think robots are that uh, advanced yet. People don't realize that. They think that's going to come soon, but I don't think it is. All of your internet comes right from that little white line. See? <laughs> so that checks how dirty it is? Mm -hmm. When you say dirty, you mean how much interference? So it's like your glasses, right? Every time you touch the glasses with like your fingers, you'll leave smudge marks. Oh, yeah, so because it's glass. It's harder to see through it, so the light kind of dims out a little bit. And that can cause service issues. And that cleans it right there. Yeah. Now you check it again. It's a just dry there. cleaner. It'll get like the surface stuff off, but like sometimes like that. And what kind of reading do you look for for that? It just has to have a passing on all four sectors. It'll pop up on there in a minute. So that just tells you if it's if it's okay. See, passing on all four. Oh, that's good. This one's gonna be dirty. This one's crazy. So you check both connections then. As well. Oh, that one's dirty. It's a dirty connector. Shit. <laughs> what do you do if you can't get it clean? Clean it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's a chemical that... Yeah, it's just rubbing out the wall. All right, let's see. Cross your fingers. I think I saw an axe. I don't know. If that one doesn't come clean, you have to run another line? No. Normally, if, if it's passing on three of four, that's fine. But I like to get it passing on all four. But sometimes you can, especially with these pre-mades, because these are made in the factory. So sometimes dust will get inside it where we can't get it with the cleaner. It's too far in. Mm -hmm. And it's like a micro particle. So what, what number do you look for? So just three or four passing. Yeah, right now we got two failing now. So let me just move it around right here.
Ah, that's a good sound. Got a little ding there. Yeah, I got a text message. <laughs> oh, I thought that was like <laughs> telling you that everything was good. <laughs> okay, that's in. Now, does it have to go in a certain way or? The, yeah, there's there's a raised edge on the top that goes into that slot. Oh, I see. Now I got to do this test. Oh, what's this one? Oh, you stick it in there? And then that tells you if. And this tells you. It tells me my DB loss and stuff. What's a DB loss? It's uh, like basically the amount of light loss at each stop. Ah, so there's one, two stops, three stops on this? No, this one there's six. Six stops. So six junctions. So you got fiber opti optic switching on it, right? Right. There's three, there's stopping points like splices and connectors. And the main box, you know, there's a connection point there too. Everything's passing there. So that's what we need. We need passing that's marks. It. And now we just plug it in and then reset the modem, right? Well, the modem will come up on its own. Oh, that's good. And then I'll see it on my app, I would imagine. Yeah. You didn't factory reset the modem, did you? No. Okay, good. Because the last guy did that. He had some static IPs. It was a nightmare. I was there for an hour just trying to straighten No, I didn't do anything to the modem. Because I knew what happened. You know, I was like, oh. yeah, because these chuckleheads, they'll be like, oh, yeah, hold the red button. Yeah, but I'm telling you, they cut it outside. Yeah, hold the red button for 15 minutes. Like, dude, really? All right, so we put up a bunch of uh, flags, and nobody runs over it and cuts it again. And uh, they got to come out and rebury everything. But uh, pretty much we're done, to tell you the truth. So, yeah. All right, now hopefully the Diaz doesn't cut this thing with a lawnmower. <laughs> All right, so I ran a speed test, and this is from Wi-Fi. So the modem's downstairs, and on my fiber optic, I'm getting, it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right, if you like this, let's do it one more time. Here's the download, which is, it's close to 600. I was getting 30 with the other. And here's my uh, upload speed. That's not bad. I mean, it works. All right, we got everything fixed. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.